What's happening, fam? LA all movement still moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non-Custodial Father at Amazon Kindle and Create Space. A link will be in the description box below as usual. This video is entitled We vs. Protection. It's been trending. Y'all know what this is about. The young lady uh, who was going off at the, uh, the weave shop that the other lady got punched at in front of her kids. But I'm going to spread this out to other different things, okay? So, my, my issue with this is people act like this is an isolated incident. Like, stuff like this is not isolated. You know, um, <laughs> the other fa the other women that got uh, attacked in the nail shop, they protested that. And what happened? There were black women who tried to walk into the nail shop while they were protesting against the nail shop. This behavior is pretty much normal. Like, it, I don't think it's surprising of the of the of the behavior of these women who are off code. I think it's just shocking to see it on camera. For some hours, this one was like the, the took the cake or something. But remember when the other, the, the, the uh, guy got shot. And, it, and was it his sister or his girlfriend was on TV? How are we going to get our weave? I mean, oh, my bad. This is not an isolated thing. You know, we have a lot of rebellious and rogue women in our community that just want to do whatever it is they want to do. Now, a couple of things that really bothered me was, one... They had a girl in a line with a kid. Now this is the same store that, that a girl, a woman got punched in front of her kids, but because weaves half off, you brought your kid. <laughs> That's a problem. Now the other part, you know, you know, you hear cats going off about the light skinned girl going off at the brother, and. And some people say, you know, you know, this is why you can't protect the women. When I heard Chrissy recently talk about it, where she says um, she got into it with, with, with somebody else, and the guy broke it up, basically, so she was going at the guy. So I'm going to take both of those. Problem number one, that's the same energy that got the other lady punched. So you're in the same exact spot, different woman, same uh, race, fighting or getting aggressive and hopping in men's face. But this time it's a black guy. That's a problem. Because you're taking that energy everywhere. And on top of that, if they got into a fight outside of the weed shop, they, <laughs> so you you aggressive with the guy who, who punching you upside the head, but but the, and you're aggressive with the guys who telling you chill out. This is the protection problem, right there, because even with the young lady who got slapped behind the counter on her job, I mean. I, w I wouldn't be surprised if somebody went back to that business and she was still there working. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. A um, couple of this, with this, this whole situation with, the, with, with, with people getting on Cardi B about the real housewives of civil rights, which was actually written by a black man, and you, you need your motherfucking ass with. I just got to say that right now. You know, fuck you, whoever you are. Um, but to get women to actually do that, too. So it's a problem. And, you know, this goes into the, you know, what's more important? 
what you your wants or protection or provision and this is I think the crux of the situation with the guys is like you can't protect and you can't provide for a group of people who just want to do whatever the fuck they want to do whenever the fuck they want to do it that's a problem and you know we keep acting like this is a one off like I, I can't believe this happened I mean another person could get beat up next week and they have a protest and the same shit is gonna go down this is not the first. There's been numerous videos of, of of women going back to the very businesses that disrespected the shit out of, and they do it with. The, we got a sale, baby. Shit, I'm gone, and that's a problem because all this protection you're looking for, you gotta understand something. You know, we can't protect you from yourself. See, y'all don't need protection from the white man. Y'all don't need protection from the Asian man. Y'all don't need protection from the Hispanic man. Y'all don't need protection, you know, from, 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 from the white woman or feminism. You need to protection from yourselves, and that's, that's an internal job. We can't help you with that. You know, you can't, you know, that's like going into the swamp talking about, and somebody say, look, it's alligators out there. You might get bit, so you, you you actually might get bit dragged into the water, gator rolled and killed. So stay out of that swamp and stay out of that water. But you decide, I can do whatever the fuck I want. Can't nobody tell me to stay out of no alligator infested water. Can't believe y'all. I'm going to be out here and I'm going to wrap some hams around my legs. And I dare an alligator to bite me. And then you get chumped, rolled, killed. And while you're going down, hey, you black men don't protect us. Like. That's the that rebellious rogue spirit is the problem. That's what the problem is. And is it an L? Yes, yeah, an L. It's an L, but it's not. It's not an L that that people are surprised that at least the men are not surprised. Like <laughs> we've been trying to say this for years. Like y'all, you know. And the thing about it is, here's the thing. If you look at the video, you would say those low budget, lower class, even hood rats. You know, so you're like, oh, I'll expect them to act that way. But you couldn't even put it past them that, you know, they, their family who are not hood rats went to, was going to work and was like, yo, let me tell you something. You going to that, that half off? Here's a couple of hundred, give me a couple of bucks. You know, you can't, you know there are, there are chicks who get down like that. Because the problem is being on code. The problem isn't, isn't, isn't the weed to a degree. That's a self-hate problem that, that you got to go that far, though. Or the protection. The problem is you can't do anything for somebody who is opportunistically on and off code. Like, I don't think some of y'all get it that that behavior is the behavior of a drug addict. Like nobody, think about who else, the other, the only other type of person that you can think of who will, who will pay for something, get their ass kicked, and then come back, like. It's on sale. You got some more drug addicts. That's crackhead behavior. You know who disrespects their customers like this? Drug dealers. Oh, I I could do whatever I want. This they they gonna come back because they need that they need that fix. And you know, unfortunately, weave is is a fix. Weave is an addiction right now. And it says a lot, man. It, sa it says a hell of a lot. Because, you know, I don't know where we can go. You know, I don't know where we can go if y'all don't get off of this weave addiction. Financially, like, y'all got kids. Th those women got kids. 
And you know, it plays into the the hood rat, the single mother stereotype that she rather, you know, oof, she's more worried about her hair and her nails than her kids. You know, so how you gonna protect and provide for somebody like that? You know, you don't wanna be around people like that. Um The other thing, you know, I, I really don't like even talking about this. The other thing about it is, <laughs> has anybody ever considered that at some point, when you look at that line, you look at how much, you, men don't, we can't even calculate how much money that line equals. Because we don't know weave like that. So when, you look, when you're asking, how much money is going out of community and you know the black dollar and recycling the black dollar a woman had to tell me okay that line if this buy half off or whatever kind of hell you know uh that's probably i don't know that could have been four thousand dollars in that line for all i know if fight you know arguing with fuck protesters because they needed hair and and, and, and and last but not least, we know it's a self hate issue because you ain't never heard a brother going around like, God damn, shawty weave thick. Oh man, look at her weave. Ooh, I need to I need to holler at her because that damn look how they weave built. Like, come on, dog. So I mean, this is this is a, this is a a self issue. You know that spills over into everything else, and it's and it's hard for us to 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 come together and work together as a community in general using this weave as a instance. Cause oh wait, same thing. Uh, you know, in the same span, we had the Omarosa thing, which is like the first time, you know, people in general seen a black woman do to a white man what we normally see black women do to black men. And, you got to think about it. That's how Omarosa got famous was stabbing a black man in the back. So y'all going to pay for that one too. This is why I say this stuff isn't isolated incidents, man. It's not at all. Not whatsoever. Um, but man, let me get out of here, man. I, I don't like this subject. Peace.